Hey, how's everyone doing? This is Oz from Oz Mechanics, and on today's video, I'm going to show you how to test fuel pressure, where to test the fuel pressure, and what to use to test the fuel pressure on today's video. All right, so how's everyone doing? So right here, we have ourselves a 2001 Ford F-150 with the Trident engine, 5.4 liter engine on this. Uh, the customer's complaint that we had on this one was that he would drive for a couple of miles and it would just shut off enough and he would wait at least, you know, three, about 30 minutes to an hour until he can actually turn it back on. So uh, I brought it over here and as soon as I was giving it gas, I noticed it was stumbling. It was not going any further. So first and foremost, what I wanted to do, because this system has a Schrader valve and that can allow us to check out the fuel pressure. I'm gonna show you where the Schrader valve is at and I can show you uh, how to test the fuel pressure. It's pretty easy. All right, so the Schrader valve is gonna be a test port for the fuel pressure. And as you can see right there, pointing at it, right there, that's the Schrader valve. Uh, it basically looks like the one that you have on your tire. Same thing, but it's gonna be on the fuel rail. And that's what we're gonna hook up our test ports to, to get the reading for the, uh, for the fuel pump. And the reading that we're going to try to look for is going to be, so key on engine key running, off engine running between 28 to 50 PSI, key, key on engine off between 35 to 45 PSI. So those are going to be our magic numbers right there. And that's what we're going to try to see if we can get. So now we're going to go to our uh, tool and this is the fuel injection pressure kit so it's fuel pump uh, pressure kit as well and I got this one from my Harbor Freight came with uh, the whole setup all kits for different vehicles and then we remove this portion we got more connectors. So, what we're gonna need, because our vehicle is a Ford, we're looking for the small Schrader valve adapter for a Ford. And that's gonna be this connector right here. All right, so we're gonna hook this up to the Schrader valve and we're gonna start looking at our fuel pressure. Just be careful when you hook this up, you might get fuel All right, as you can see now, we have our fuel pump uh, pressure tester connected to a Schrader valve. And what I'm doing right here, I actually have it routed right outside the windshield. So what I'm gonna do, uh, we're gonna basically make sure that our pressures are right. And I have the little chart right here. That shows key on engine running, 28 to 50 PSI. And then we got key off, or, or key on engine off. I'm sorry about that, 35 to 45. PSI. So what we're going to do, like I said, I have this right here on the windshield. I'm going to go inside and we're going to test the fuel pump. All right, so right now what we're going to test, we're going to do uh, key on engine off and it should be between 35 to 45 uh, foot PSI. pounds. PSI. So what we're going to do, we're just going to cycle the engine and we're just going to try to get a reading from there. And that's going to be key on engine off. So we're not going to turn on the engine, we're just going to click it to the on, posi uh, 
on position and as you can see we're right at say 39 PSI. foot pounds so that's going to be good for for the reading now what we're going to do we're going to do key on engine running and that should be between 28 to 50 pounds so now what we're going to do we're going to turn on the vehicle and what we're trying to get is between 28 to 50 pounds so here it goes so right now we're getting around 34 34 pounds that's good enough right there that's what we need and what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna I'm gonna rev up the engine and what we're trying to look for is we're trying to see if the the pressure starts going up if it starts going down we have a restriction or we're getting a bad fuel pump so here we go we're gonna rev it up as you can see that when we rev it up it jumps up jumping up at least around eight pounds six to eight pounds and now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put some load onto it by putting it to drive it and you should see it pump up just a tad bit as you can see I put it in drive and it jumped up so now we're looking at around 36 pounds so there you go and that's the way to test out uh, this is a static test right here there's other tests that we can drive and, and check out other pressures. Uh, I might make a video on that one. I'm just going to see how this one goes. So if you do like this video, please thumbs up, subscribe, and share. And uh, hopefully, hopefully you like this video, man. Here from Oz Mechanics. Hope, uh, hope you have a nice day.